The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Beloved, Pensa International was birthed in 2019 as a direct part of the vision 2023 and now 2028 through Pensa. Started in Ghana and now we have Pensas all over the world beginning to emerge as well as well established as we know we have in Europe, in America, in UK, Canada, and elsewhere. Now, Pensa International, if I could take a minute to address our strategic pillars, and then I will dive directly into the main reason for why we have been given this platform in this august occasion. Pensa International was founded on three main pillars. The first one, working under the auspices of the IMD's office, was and continues to be mobilizing the young men and women as well as all the professional class of the church to advance the evangelistic course of the church. To be quite honest with you, what we have seen through the grace of God upon the church, as young men and women go out as students, we have seen the passion and the, and the zeal for Pentecostal uh, church planting being seen in their lives. And we want to be able to spur this innovative approach of, of finding churches and planting churches through the youth as well as through the professionals of the church. And so we exist to open up brand new churches where Pentecost hasn't been founded yet because one, we are caught by the Pentecostal fire, two, we have availability of time, and three, we are committed to the Pentecostal experience. Now, that has been ongoing for the past four years. In fact, next month, we are going to be doing some missions enterprises in, 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 in Asia as well as in some places in Africa as well. Now, the second element or the second pillar of the Pensa International is the idea that we are going to be establishing Pensa, a ministry where young people and professionals can find space for themselves in terms of expression and, and, and being grounded in, 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 in Pensa in, within the church. Now, finally, we have been given a mandate to mobilize all the professionals and the working adults as well as the alumni to be able to, for the purposes of networking. Dear Chair, I want to, if you go to the next slide for me, I can't start this presentation in terms of the, the, the responsibility of every professional to see their calling as a ministry calling. I, I, I really am touched by the fact that we are in Germany. This is the birthplace of Max Weber. And Max Weber, I believe, is chairman's favorite economist. Because he's the one that has come, he, he made a very profound theoretical argument that work should be seen as a calling and as a ministry. And that has been the secret for the Western development that we have seen. As we go through Germany, we have, we have, we have come to observe the incredible pace of the national physical development. And it comes out of the idea that a group of people came and they bought into the idea, the Protestant work ethic, that work and ministry go together. Hallelujah. And so it was founded on three main principles that hard work, discipline, and good stewardship leads to development. Beloved, as professionals within the church, we have a mandate to see our calling as priests, not just as professionals. Praise the Lord. Our work that the Lord has graced us with is a place of worship. And so we see, we learn from Colossians 3, 3 verse 23 that whatever we do, we should do it as unto the Lord. And if we do it, it will give us the ability to be influential in whatever sphere of influence as we are going to discuss this afternoon. Beloved, what I am saying in all of this is that by the grace of God, those of us who didn't count, the Lord has counted us as worthy. When we started out, I will share some stories with you. I, I, sometimes I find myself sitting in some meetings and I say to myself, this village boy from Bissiasi, Ghana, what am I doing in this meeting? If it is not for the grace of God, what else could it be? And I believe that speaks to a lot of our stories, where the Lord has elevated us to. As I was thinking and pondering about this, 
as we have gathered here in, in Germany, just looking at the economic impact of every single person's presence here, I believe we are, the, the amount, the dollar figure is probably going to be in the millions of dollars between plane tickets, the cost of this arena. But the Lord has blessed us with grace to be able to put something like this on. And I believe it is an opportunity for us to manifest the profound grace of God. And so, how are we doing this and mobilizing? Pensa International has created a platform to bring all the professionals as well as the young people together through, through three main pillars that I want to share very briefly and then we'll go into the details during the discussion. The first one is that by the grace of God, and Chairman, I want to take this opportunity to thank the Jospon group of companies because when we pitch this idea to them, the idea that we want to mobilize and create space because if Nebuchadnezzar was looking for the best in his generation, our dear Chairman Xiao is a holy, holy ghost filled Nebuchadnezzar because he's also looking for the best of his generation. And he said to me, young man, you have access to intellectuals as well as to young people in, with college degrees and education. You bring them to me and I'll find space for them to express their God-given talents and skills. And dearly beloved, it was not just talk. He backed it up and he gave us a position that is funded by the Judgment Group of Companies, but they take technical direction from Pensa International. And so we are using this position to mobilize all the young people, and I'm, I'm glad to make this announcement on this platform, on this grand platform today, that from now on, if you go to www.opportunities.pensainternational.org, we are going to have the opportunity to register your interest in an internship. Now, we have a funded position within the Johnsport Group, but it's not just for the Johnsport Group. It's for all corporate entities. And we are reaching out to all the businessmen and women that are listening to me, that are here, to be able to make room within your corporate entities, to bring people in and give them experience. Praise the Lord. As I'm standing here, I am the product of internship. I received my first internship when I was 16 years old. And it gave me the, the ability to see how power works in the halls of where decisions are being made, budgets are being decided. And by the grace of God, it has helped to shape me to where, in all humility, I stand today. Now, internships are a great way to shape the next generation. And now we have created a digital platform where people that need access to Christ-exalting corporate experience can register and come in and receive experience. The next one is the Pensa International Professional Exchange Program. This one is grounded in the idea that whatever your technical expertise is, it is an opportunity to be used to exalt Jesus. And so when you go on the platform, it doesn't matter if you're an IT expert, if you're a doctor, if you're an engineer, if you're an accountant. You see, now, now, as people who are missionaries in every sphere of life, if we travel, we no longer just go on vacation. We go and we bring Christ with us everywhere we go. And so we are inviting you, the next time you are traveling to another country where Pentecost is, come to the platform, register your expertise, and then we will match you with a like-minded organization on the ground so that you can exchange technical expertise, ideas, and cross-cultural training. Beloved, this is a great opportunity. When I was a young man starting out in my career, by the grace of God, I was able to travel through Africa, in Eastern, Europe, in Eastern Africa. And every time I would go, on the weekends, I wouldn't have anything to do because I don't drink, I don't go to, to clubs. But I knew that Pentecost was in Kenya. I would go and visit the missionaries. Pentecost was in Malawi, in Rwanda. When I would visit them, I would spend time with the missionaries. Sometimes we would go to church services together, not knowing that God was using that, this is almost 20 years ago, was using that to prepare me for this future appointment. Beloved of God, wherever you go as a professional, you are called to carry Christ as a missionary. And so this is a platform to mobilize every single professional in this room and listening to me. That come, wherever you are traveling to, if you're traveling to Ghana, take two days and go do a guest lecture at Pentecost University. If you're a doctor, go to Pentecost Hospital somewhere and provide expertise. If you're a lawyer, IT, we heard the E-Church is looking for technical experts. If you have technical expertise, come on the platform, register your expertise, and we will match you with an entity that could benefit from your missionary zeal and what God has blessed you with. And then finally, we have 
This one is only relevant to Ghana, but I just want to make it clear here that for all our young men that are coming out looking for national service partnerships and national service um, um, ma matchmaking, our corporate entities are saying, look, internships can only go as far as three months exposure. But the national service scheme is kind of like a national one-year-long internship program. And so if you are a young man, PENSA student, and you're coming out of your universities and you're looking for a Christ-exalting company to affiliate with and to do your national service scheme, now we have the ability to do This came straight out of a conversation with the Just Pond management team. They said, look, we are looking for young men and women who have the Pentecostal touch. And so please go again, register on the website, give us your details, and we'll do our best to match you with a company that is Christ-exalting, where you can use the skills that God has given you. Beloved of God, opportunities.pensainternational.org. That is what I have to share. That the Lord God will use our various skills as we are looking to impact the next generation, as well as even those of us who are professionals, using our skills to advance the kingdom agenda. If you're a businessman listening to me, please let us know you because we would love to partner with you and bring men and women who are well steeped with Pentecostal passion and spirit to come and advance your commercial agenda as well as to use it as an opportunity to exhort Christ. May God bless all of us even as we get into this discussion. Amen.